Hello all. Uh, this one's going to be on uh, QEM, uh, QEMU, sorry, uh, a virtualization uh, package that you can uh, install in Arch Linux and other uh, Linux distributions. And uh, just sudo pacman capital S QEMU, and that should do it. Uh, a viewer asked me to look at this, and I've been messing around with this for the past over a year or so, maybe even more. So I've accumulated some notes and some observations, and it looks like there's a few bugs with the kernel or with the latest uh, QEM U uh, package itself. So I'm not sure what's going on with that yet. In any case, um, I just have the notes up here so you can follow along, and as usual, I'll post them so you can look through them. It's very simple. Um, you just uh, QEM dash image create and then the file system or the format would either raw or uh, copy on space uh, Q, QCOW2 basically uh, I'm going to use that one because again it's complaining about the raw image and I, it, I'm not sure where to put the flag in to ignore it there's some stuff I have down here with uh, question marks like machine SM, SMM off. Um, that's another bug. Don't know why. It won't take 4 gigs of memory. Uh, format equals raw. Like I said, I'm not sure where to put that. So I'll use just use the uh, this one. Okay. Zoom in this, this one that's highlighted. So I'll just uh, you can, for example, open your home folder and create a new uh, folder. Call it anything you want, QEM or virtual or QEMU. And then uh, wherever you have your Arch Linux ISO, the viewer asked to install Arch Linux, I believe. Uh, so if you have one downloaded, you might want to copy it into that folder. So Arch Linux here. And, uh, okay. And just uh, for simplicity, just press F2 to rename it. I'm just going to call it Arch. And leave the dot ISO in there, okay? And then uh, wherever you decide to make your folder, just open a terminal in that folder, like so. And then we're going to create the image, and I'm going to use the uh, the uh, Q space uh, copy on right. Um, if you're going to uh, use BTRFS uh, file system, you probably want to go with RAW. Like I imagine raw would be fine and just raw just uh, basically writes the image out eight gigs the other m this method here will um, grow as it uh, gets larger so it'll be very small so I'll just paste in the command here and press enter and there's probably more variables variables for that but it does seem to work and uh, see it's only 192 or so uh, kilobytes Okay, now for the fun part, um, QEM system, and according to the Arch Linux documentation and other sources, uh, the specify 64-bit uh, dash x86 underscore 64 SMP symmetric multi multi bleh, multi processing. Sorry about that. I have six cores. It does seem to take that. Again, the memory thing—it's uh, unknown. Enable KVM, and if you want to check for that, uh, da, 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 quick check, just LS mode mod grep KVM, and if it comes back and you see it, then you can enable it. If not, then go back to uh, uh, I386 uh, with no uh, acceleration in KVM. So, with that said, I'm just going to take this line and I'm going to use, uh, oh, not that line, this one we want to boot. Arch Linux, of course. So I'll just copy that, throw this in a terminal, and you'll see some errors before you boot. Uh, this one here. It's custom memory allocation V table not supported. Even if I don't put memory into the equation up here, it still comes back with this error. So I'm not sure what's going on. But we do have an Arch ISO running. So you just press enter. And it defaults to 1024 by 768, so that's a good thing. And 
Without the acceleration, it's extremely slow, but this is running pretty quick. So I'll just give it a bit of time to boot. And for your, uh, if you want to type in th through your numpad on your keyboard, like one, two, three, just hit the num, num lock twice and you should be able to use it. Okay, that's what I've been finding. So as usual, I do my um, set font so I can see things better. <laughs> Uh, ISO 02-12 by 22. There you go. So it looks like Arch, basically, you know, the Arch ISO to install, and you can do your Pac-Man dash capital SYY to check, sync the mirrors and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download a couple of uh, scripts from GitHub for me, uh, for basically for internet and some other helpers and I'll put a post a link to that if you want to look at the some of the scripts that I use to speed up the process of installing Arch kind of the long way I guess so I'll be back in uh, flash okay so moving along with just the uh, F disk uh, whatever you want to use use for partitioning so I always use F disk uh, so F disk and obviously there's only one device SDA and new and it's going to select the defaults I'm not going to bother with a swap I guess I'm just yeah I'm going to leave everything as it is so 8 gigs allocated Linux partition 1 so press W to write and that's it I'll clear the screen and then uh, mkfs.extension4 is a uh, safest bet uh, device SDA1 and that's done and we'll just mount that to uh, SDA12 with the slash MNT. And then packstrap uh, to the mounted partition base. And I always get base GEVEL, base developer, because I always use packages from the Arch Linux user repository and it has sudo and all that kind of good stuff. So just press enter and uh, I'll let that download, so I'll be back in a in a second. Okay, uh, from here I uh, generate the file system table. Uh, last time I was reading about this, this use the uh, U, the capital U, uh, the unique identifier option. So uh, G E N F S tab dash capital U and slash M N T and a space and two arrows out to slash M N T Etsy F S T A B. And I'll just, uh, just in case, just uh, delete up to the uh, MNT, the last one, and you'll see uh, what uh, is generated, and that's correct. So from here, we just arch dash ch root to slash MNT. And there you go. And you do your usual stuff, your password and your uh, locale. Generate your location and your zone country zone and stuff okay okay and should mention that I have videos and on uh, Arch Linux in installation the full uh, process uh, so that's why I skip through a lot of things uh, just to save some time and uh, after installing grub um, Zorg uh, XF86 uh, no mode set acceleration is built into Zorg now I believe I'm not sure if it makes any difference, but you can nano Etsy default grub. And where it has quiet, uh, just space the quote there and put no mode set. And control O to write that out, of course, and control X to exit. Um, I have a shortcut cut for uh, an alias for uh, grub mk config up dash grub so that's it on the arch linux uh, part of installing and then i'll just go through quickly of uh, installing a desktop environment so i'll be oh one more thing exit so sorry uh, power off oh sorry u mount dash mnt let's get everything right here okay dash capital r and then power off and uh, we'll go through um, starting up uh, the QEM system. 
All right, so now it's powered off. Um, we get to the uh, QEM dash uh, system dash your architecture architecture. Um, in this case, I'm going to leave out the sound because uh, I don't use Pulse Audio, and if I record um, with this setting, the sound enabled even in a in virtual uh, virtual box, uh, my sound gets cut out. That's because I just use Alsa, so I'm going to leave out the sound but for me what worked was the dash sound hwac97 there's other variables you can try which i think there's a couple here a couple here but if you just um do some searching you can find different ones and there's lots of different ways of how this should look and you can mount it and all kinds of other uh, neat stuff so what i'm going to use is this uh qem system and then uh, keyboard uh, English US uh, you can look that up under the um, QEM uh, keyboard maps and VGA STD uh, you could try uh, VMware I think you can download the VMware uh, video XF, XF86 video and the mouse you have to put in it. Uh, KVM we talked about 4 gigs of RAM it's going to ignore it. Now this part USB device tablet is for your mouse um, seemed to work fine. Uh, SMP as I mentioned 6 cores and, they, um, and I have enabled KVM there twice so just uh, take that sucker out. <laughs> Save. And then the dash boot C and then the QEM image. All right. I know it's long-winded, and it takes a while. You have to build this up and experiment, basically. So hopefully, I got everything right. So I'll just copy and paste this in. There we go. We're booting into Arch Linux, and I think the screen will get larger. Yes, it. Yeah. And now, since we have the mouse uh, variable in there, I can. Uh, just like VirtualBox, you can you don't have to grab the screen anymore. You can use your mouse to hover around. So a couple of things I forgot was to set a host name and uh, to enable DHCPD. So I'll just log in as root and quickly systemctl enable DHCPCD service and uh, echo something to the host name QEMU. Uh, out to slash host name and a quick reboot okay so there's our host name and uh, pacman dash capital s y y make sure we're still connected yep so that's working fine so i'll move on to uh, installing a, a desktop so if you're trying this out and you want to install a desktop environment log in as a user and i'm just going to get uh xfce for it's <laughs> it's um Safest bet, especially when uh, experimenting. So sudo pacman capitalist xfce4 and just accept the defaults and uh, let that install. Now we've gotten everything right and our Zorg uh, server is all set up. Um, the cool thing about uh, xfce4 is you don't have to edit the ex an accident file or you don't have to have a login manager if you don't wish. You just uh, type in start xfce4 and press enter and ta-da there we go we have a desktop and whatever you want to use for your configuration and so on so you just treat it just like another arch installation you can uh, customize xfce4 or whatever you're gonna use you can uh, shut down and restart the system and all, all kinds of uh, you know basically just arch linux Okay, so that should do it for this one, and thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.